Hello everyone, this is Ty from The Misplay here, and today I'm here to show off a newer deck of mine. One of the weirder playstyles, one of the more unique. Um, and it definitely when they came out, when they came out I'd say they had the most unique playstyle in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. Now they're, they're fitting in because I think the, the creators are doing a lot more unique stuff with the theming. But this, I think, at the time is the most unique playstyle deck in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! Where the painters? Um, you knew by the title. Uh, again, one of my newer decks, one of one I've been slow booting for a while, but pulled the trigger maybe two months ago and, and finished them off. Uh, was No, it wasn't two months ago. It was when the support came in. Whatever the last mainline set was and the support came in, I'm like, you know, I'm just going to finish them. Um, they're still not amazing, but <laughs> they're really fun. So for those who have never seen any of the channels before, or, or, and never seen this channel before, Josh and I run a lot of different decks, you know, probably 50 decks between us, something like that. Um, and we run a unique format and uh, to us is pure. And what that means for us is nothing out of archetype in the extra deck. So you're only gonna see Weather Painter cards from the extra deck and mostly in archetype for the main deck, unless if it's the theming or just the deck needs it to play. Um, we allow one hand trap per deck. Most of the time we don't even put a hand trap in, we just have like, like the deck's too tight. This deck actually does run a hand trap and it somewhat fits the theme. Um, but yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna be seeing anything crazy, you know. You're gonna see mostly where the painter cards, but I think it's a fun way to show them off. So I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna show off the first of the weather painters. Weather painter snow, absolutely crucial. Uh, when this card is normal summoned, you get to search a weather spell or trap. Um, for those who don't know how weather painters work, weather painters don't really have much of an effect. So they they usually have a trigger effect when they're normal or special summoned. Um, and then they have the effect of if they're banished due to a weather card's effect, they come back during the, st the next standby phase. Um, and usually what happens is, slight spoilers, but let's say I have snowy canvas. Let's say I normal summon snow, get snowy canvas. All the canvas cards give their effect to whatever monster is directly in the head or on a diagonal. So essentially, uh, and they banish for cost. So essentially if I've got snowy canvas here and snow here, snowy canvas gives its effect to snow. So I'm not activating spells or traps, I'm activating snow's effect that was given to it by the canvas so it's very interesting and i'll run into it a little bit more when we get into that um but again we run three weather painter rain uh when this card is normal summoned you can place one weather spell trap from your hand face up in spell and trap card zone so again i can essentially play a trap weather painter trap canvas trap face up um on the turn and again it's not broken because a lot of these times you just it's just combo pieces um we run three thunder, um, and here's the effect if you can set one continuous spell or trap by control of the graveyard to place one from the deck. So essentially it's a swap out. Um, I run two of sun, which essentially, if this is in my graveyard, I can send a face up spell, uh, canvas spell or trap to the graveyard to special summon him. Um, Aurora, I don't think Aurora is that good. She has the effect of when she's normal summoned, but being she costs a tribute, she's not really gonna be used that much. I'm only really like getting her as a special summon. And then the one hand trap, the effect veil. That's all the monsters. Very low monster count, um, especially for our format. But again, all of these, apart from the effect veil, obviously, have the effect of they were banished for the cost of a weather painter effect or weather effect. They'll come back during the next standby phase. So a lot of the time, you're playing a lot in main phase two. Um, and this deck is really grinding. It's one of the grindiest decks you guys have ever seen. The lowest, like, punches like if it, if it was like a boxer this hits like a featherweight but it'll go 35 rounds this is you're playing the longest game you can it's just you're trying to outgrind resources essentially so that's the monster count i'll leave snow aside handy because i'm going to try and do as many examples as i can to really if this is the first time you've ever seen weather to try and uh, articulate it the best i can so move on to spells um i run three Snowy Canvas, which uh, Snowy Canvas gives the effect to, again, whatever monster is above it or just above in the horizontal, uh, not uh, diagonal, I get a search of a Weather Painter card. So essentially, if I had out Snow, 
I'd activate Canvas, activate Snow's effect to banish it for cost to get a search of a weather card. That would still stay out of the field and Snow would be banished until the next standby phase. Um, getting a search is incredible. Obviously with any Yu-Gi-Oh deck, consistency is king. You want to run three of it. I run three of Rainy Canvas. Again, give the effect to the monster. Brainy Canvas is popping your opponent's back row. Um, Josh and I run a really back row heavy format, a very trap heavy format with Solemns and whatnot. So something like Rainy Canvas is incredible. Um, I want to pop as many as much back row as possible. I want to make his life an absolute pain. Um, I run a singular Sunny Canvas. Um, essentially, banish this card, tackle one monster your opponent controls. Uh, no, target one card you control and special summon a different one tribute. So essentially it's a swap out for monsters. Cloudy Canvas to halve your opponent's attack. These aren't that good, um, but you need weather cards for like effects. And for another reason I'm about to get into, uh, the new support, Weather Forecast. Now this is the best card in the archetype. Josh and I have been talking for a little bit how busted field spells are getting and how good cards with three card effects are. And Weather Forecast is a field spell card with three card effects. It is beyond busted. So when you activate this, you can place one Weather Spell or Trap from your deck face up in the Spell and Trap card zone. So that's essentially you're activating it from the deck. That's already incredible. Um, then you get an additional Normal Summon, which for a deck that struggles to Special Summon really helps, especially a Link deck. And then, the most craziest effect, you can use canvas cards at the Spell and Trap card zone as link material. For a deck that really struggles to summon, that has two link threes, this is incredible. You essentially, let's say, a standard combo will be um, snow, so that be canvas, get out canvas, get another, bada bada, I've got, you know, one, two, three, boom, that's my link three. Incredible. This is the craziest card in the archetype some of the best support for like a for a deck I've seen. This this is absolutely incredible. That's all the weather canvas spells I run. I don't run many because they can get bricky because again, as you can see, I run three each of the good ones and the others are just sort of like, well, I have to run them. You know what I mean? Like I need link material with that kind of shit. To get into the field spell quicker, I run a terraforming. Part of average for draw power. Um, I've, you know, low monster count, but we, we get them to go very pretty quickly. Cool buy, because I had a slot free. Um, <laughs> United we stand because I had a slot free, and sometimes they just need to be over, and it works really well with the links, actually, which I'll get into in a little bit. And then a Raigeki to clear board. Um, again, a lot of it is taken up by the canvas cards, because you need that for the deck to function. We'll move on to traps. Um, I run three of Rainbow Canvas. Um, it essentially allows me to special summon from the deck. Um, very, very good. Uh, it's essentially, it's trib you banish it to special summon from the deck with a different name. Rainbow Canvas is very, very good. Um, it's by far the best, I don't want to say very, very good, it's good. It's the best weather trap. I only run two. I run a singular uh, Thundery Canvas. Um, if essentially one of you, you know, do the whole banish to get the effect is if one of your weather monsters it attacks, you banish um, whatever it attacks, but before the damage step. So it's good if you just need to out something because you don't, you typically don't have the things to, you don't have the numbers to beat over anything. I run three dimensional barrier because it just fits the theme of banishing. And then I run two HSDs because I want to pop a lot of back row. Um, that's my trap right up. That's my 40. It's really clogged with the canvas cards. Um, I have a bit of play with Call By and United We Stand. I want to test some more with that, but it's, it's, you, there's not much room to breathe with this deck. I'm going to show you the link cards now, and I'll start with the newest support, um, the Link 3 Weather Painter Moonbow, the, the other support card with the field spell. Moonbow is really, really good. Uh, when Moonbow is Link Summoned, I get a special summon one of my banished um, weather monsters, which that's really good. And then Moonbow is really fun. So Moonbow has the effect and Moonbow pseudo works like a canvas card, but instead it's down. It's whatever it points to. You see, it's all got down link arrows. So if I've got a snow there, there, or there, it'll give it the effect to banish for cost 
and then target one monster your opponent controls, banish it to the next standby phase. So essentially, oh, you've got a card in the field and it's non-trigger. Like if I obviously this is a going first deck, right? So if I go first, get Moonbow and then two other monsters. You know, uh, my opponent normal normal summon something without a trigger. Boom, snow to banish it. You su you've got a double summon, right? In this situation, you normal summon again, activate suns to banish it because it's not. Technically, it's not Moonbow, so technically it's not once per turn. I can technically, that's their own effects. If I had three, I could do three. Moonbow's very, very fun. Um, a good way to just stop, stun your opponent right away. Again, they, they'll get their monsters back during my standby phase, but that stuns them for that turn. That stops their turn dead in their tracks. Moonbow's really, really fun. And Moonbow has another effect, the third effect. Remember what I was saying about cards with three effects? So good. When Moonbow uh, is destroyed by battle or card effect, special summons out the classic one, Rainbow. Now, Rainbow is really, really good. Rainbow is an Omni negate. Rainbow is when your opponent would special summon, you can negate it. And with activate card effect, you can negate it. Um, and it can, again, give it to the ones below. Similar to the way the canvas gives above, the extra deck gives below. So again, I have it's it's just crazy it's just absolutely crazy whether i want to go into either whether i go into negates or just stuns that's my whole extra deck because i run it pure but these two link threes are very very strong very capable very versatile the biggest struggle with weather painter is getting the clean and consistent 40. this deck can be really bricky so i'm still trying to work it out so if you guys have any recommendations for weather painter on tech cards to try or ways i can make this deck more consistent without just you know throwing in like a pot of extravagance or you know pot of desires or whatever right please let me know please leave a comment because josh and i read all the comments um we're a growing youtube channel so we read every single comment so if you have any tech cards any suggestions or any replays or any cool combos please let me know i'd love to to, to source some info from you guys but that wraps up my weather painter deck profile if you've liked it, feel free to check out any of the other um, decks or live jewels or tournaments or podcasts, or anything else we've got in the misplay. Again, I think we run a really fun, unique format um, and we'd love to hear some thoughts from you guys. So yeah, check out some of the other videos and uh, deuces. We hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys want to see any more live duels, deck builds, podcast episodes, tournament videos, or anything that you guys may want to see, let us know in the comments below. Please make sure to leave a like. Please subscribe. Tell us what you guys want to see. We love hearing from you guys. 100% every comment matters. We read every comment on the channel. On, on any video. Old, new, old, new, new, old, old, new. <laughs> we read every comment. Um, Even if we don't respond to it, I give it a heart. 100%. We read everything. 100%. We read all of it, whether we respond or not. Um, if you can tell your friends about us if you know people that like Yu Gi Oh, please recommend it this started out as a passion project or a hobby and it's we're just getting bigger and bigger and bigger yeah so, so that's about it from from us at the misplay so we hope to see you guys in the comments and we'll see you guys in the next video deuces <laughs>